Hi, it's Debbie Williams here again and I want to talk about uh, track two on my uh, Stop Panic Attacks recordings. Um, in this track we gather positive resources from the past which is a bit like doing the opposite of what a counsellor does who basically encourages you to talk about when the panic started and all the things associated to that. The reason we go to the past to look for positive resources is because we want to get you in a better frame of mind to move forward with this. And also on the following track I use these positive resources to dilute down the negative one. So we have at least five positive to cut down the negative one. Um, I also teach you various other ways to elicit the relaxation response. and. Um, I'd like to encourage you to record any success. The reason being, if you start recording things that you notice that you are less panicky in this situation, then a few months later you may notice, well actually I'm no longer panicky at all in that situation, as the brain learns after track one to ask this one question that processes your emotions to grow from them, to move out of panic into living your life where you're cool, calm and collected more often. Um, again, as I said in the, the first video, I speak about that if you did fall asleep, it may well be because you're actually very tired using all the energy to create the adrenaline to run the panic on. And so sometimes just giving yourself permission to sleep and then listening to the recording during the day so that you're sat up and you're actually actively listening to hear the words. Um, Basically, you've got to think that you're training the muscle between your ears, so you don't go to the gym just once and that's it, you've built a muscle. It's the repetition which will ensure the success of listening to it over and over and over. It will lay down the patternings of thinking the way um, a more cool, calm, collected person does. Okay, I'll speak to you soon about what's on track three.